Hello, and welcome back. This is Borahla here. Once again, it is time to take a look at the historical past. In this video, we are going to look at the end of the 1960s and the beginning of the 1970s to a time in US and world history where a great deal of emphasis was placed on students' feelings. Rather than viewing language through a cognitive space, this approach, the affective humanistic approach, focused on the uh, value of human beings in society and culture. So we are going to travel back to 1970. Are you ready? Let's go! Hello sir, we come from the future. We would like to ask you some questions about teaching and learning languages. Oh, hello my dear friends. Welcome to my place. Oh, you, you look so tired from your voyage into the past. Please, have a seat. Uh, you can sit wherever you want. Feel at home. Would you like some tea? Go ahead, it's on the table over there. Serve yourself. So, uh, I hear you have questions. Why should we teach languages? Well, my dears, why don't you tell me? I'm very interested in hearing your feelings and the reasons you have decided to learn English. I would love to help each of you with your goals and your thoughts. I, for one, I love to teach languages so that I can show you all the ways the English can touch your hearts all the stories I have to share. Who should we teach? Oh, that's a good question. I consider myself a second chance teacher. Do you know what I mean? Second chance. I mean that sometimes students come into my class and feel like they haven't been successful before. They feel like they aren't good learners. And oh, I like to turn that around. I like them to see how valuable they are and how in my place, in my space, we are all loved and we are all equal. We all go through this experience together. Some of you may feel like you can't learn a language and I'm here to tell you that you need to expand your mind. Because guess what? You can. Yes, you can. What materials are needed to teach a language? First, uh, wait, would you like more tea? Uh, okay. Anyway, first there is no doubt that I will be using, well, let me turn on some music too. What do you think of Mozart? Fantastic, isn't he? mind-blowing just gets me in the mood to teach and now what was the question and don't you just love the pictures behind me and all over they are so bright and beautiful we'll be discussing these to discuss some vocabulary words for our story about sweet tea do you like it do you like the mood of this room I was hoping you would and ah yes and feel free to use the musical instruments you see all around you. I really do. How does a learner learn a language? I want you to free your mind. I want you to relax, enjoy. Everyone knows that language takes place on two planes of consciousness. One is the conscious mind, but I want you to open up your subconscious mind. This will allow you to learn faster and better. Just stay calm and enjoy. You can do it. How should the teacher teach? How should the teacher teach? Well, today we are going to learn our story about Bree Rabbit and Bree Bear. These are old stories, southern stories. And the great thing about this story is that we will have a dramatization afterwards. <laughs> we'll have auditions. Does anyone want to be a big strong bear? Anyone to, uh, want to be a clever rabbit? 
just to let you know he is my favorite and he is the hero in our story. But don't worry, you don't have to decide who you want to be just yet. There will be a song first. I'll sing it to you and it will help you understand who each of these characters are and then after we can decide. And for those of you that don't want to act, I don't want to mess up your groove. Don't worry, if you don't want to play one of these characters, you can just join me in singing the song. It's all groovy. How do we help students remember a language? That's a fantastic question too. I feel that. What will help you remember is the music, the movement will help you remember. The colors and the pictures and the costumes will help you remember. Relaxing will help you remember. You, you will help you remember if you let go and let me show you a whole different world. All right, back to the present. I hope you have enjoyed this interview and I'll see you in the next lesson. Thanks for listening.